what up guys so i'm pretty excited for today's video i have bought some matte white and some matte black spray paint and i'm going to be spray painting my center console all right so i'm going to be spray painting this whole plastic piece right here with the matte white and i'll be spray painting this part and probably these pieces matte black okay so first step we have to take all of this off because obviously we cannot spray paint it in the car so let's get to it Okay, so I just finished getting everything out and it is a complete mess. So even though I'll never see this again, I'm still gonna clean it cause that is like disgusting. Okay, it's a random little update. I took my, I took my heating system out because there's something I have to fix on it cause this display isn't working. But there is so much sticky stuff everywhere. I can stuff right here i don't know what it is but it just crumbles apart and this tape is so sticky and it's getting everywhere so this can be a pain to clean so i got all the pieces laid out before we start painting i do have to deglaze it just so the paint sticks better so i'm gonna do that right now and i'm just using nail polish remover so that should work good enough Okay guys, so I just finished putting the nail polish remover all over it. It's all nice and clean. Now, if you do have a garage to do this in, you might want to do that because I'm sure things are going to be flying in the air, landing on it. But I do not have a garage to do it in. I mean, I have a garage, but it's not empty. Also, you want to make sure you're doing light coats. The lighter coats, the better. You don't want to just cake it on there and stuff. So yeah, let's get to painting. Okay, so I just finished with the first coat, and as you can tell, I, I did super light on it. So yeah, we'll wait for that to dry, and we'll go on the second coat. Alright, just finished the second coat. As you can see right here, I went a little too heavy, and that's what you don't want to do, because that'll happen. So, yeah, don't do that. Okay, so as that's drying, I'm gonna get started on these ones. This, I do not know what to do. I'm gonna try and tape it off so I don't get paint on this, but I can't like, I can't get paint on this thing or this thing. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Okay, so I ended up removing this and it did stick to it. So I'll have to, I do have super glue and I'll just stick it right back. But we got the little gas, gas tank opener thing taped off and then I also taped off the keyhole so we should be all good to start spraying okay so I got all our little areas set up I'm not gonna do much more talking because it's gonna get dark soon and I want to hurry up and finish this because I still have to put everything back in the car and I do not want to be doing that in the dark so yeah let's get spraying all this stuff So we're on our last coat. I gotta do one more after this. 
I think they're looking pretty nice. This will be covered up, that's why it looks like that, but so far, I mean, it looks okay. So while those are drying, I'm gonna take the time to clean out all the stuff in here. I'm also gonna clean out my floor mats and yeah, just clean up the car a little bit so I'm not wasting time. Okay, so I vacuumed out as much as I could. And now I'm just gonna go in with my detail brush right here. And I'm just gonna scrub everything I can. Obviously be careful for the cords so you don't get them, you know, wet. But I mean, this is stuff you won't ever see, but in the back of my head, I know it's dirty. So I just want it to be clean. Okay, so this is about as clean as I could get it. Looking much better than I did before. But it's getting dark pretty soon, already getting kind of dark. So I'm gonna get started on the floor mats and we should be good to go on putting those back in. guys and just like that we are done i could have washed them to get this greenish color out but it's springtime and it's raining every single day basically so it's probably gonna get dirty tomorrow but it's definitely an improvement all right and i'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side all right and we are done with this side too so all nice and clean just noticed there is bird poop on my car so i'm gonna have to wash it today too so i do plan on cleaning my whole interior today i'm just gonna do it after i put everything in because it just makes the most sense but right now we're gonna go do the last coat on those and we're gonna do the last coat on those and then we should be good to put them in here okay so the last coat of paint has been put on I'm sure I missed spots and some spots are dripping, but I think I did okay for my first time. We'll definitely find out how many spots I missed once we put it in the car. But yeah, I'm really liking the black though. It's super easy to put on and looks great. Okay, so it's a day later and I'm finally done. I had to take everything back off and repaint it because I just didn't like how it looked. It was kind of blotchy and there were some spots that were scratched. It's still kind of scratched. It's not perfect, but I mean, it's the best I'm going to get it. So I can show you guys it.
guys did enjoy the video, it would be helpful if you left a like. And I plan on doing more things to my car, like painting my seats and just a lot more stuff. So, I mean, if you want to see more of that, definitely subscribe too. But other than that, peace out.